Dude, that thing is huge! Oh All right, we are out here, folks. Day two of fishing out on the Amazon. In the middle of the rainforest right now. We drove, how many miles do you think we drove it last night? Four hours though. We drove for like four hours. We are literally in the middle of absolutely nowhere. In the middle of the Amazon rainforest right now. Like there's nothing around. We haven't had cell phone service in like three days. We're just out here and uh, we're with Alberto. Yeah. How's it going, Alberto? Good? Good. We are going to, uh, we're going to be doing some, something a little bit different today. And uh, we want to mix it up a little bit. You know, I don't want to make a just, you know, eight peacock bass fishing videos, although I would like to do that. I know you guys will probably get a little bit tired of it. So we are going to try to do some, some catching and cooking today. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see if it actually, actually pans out. But we're going after toothy critters. Cr critters that neither John or I have caught before, which includes piranhas and wolf fish. Absolutely incredible species. And we're hopefully going to be slaying a few of those today but hope you guys are enjoying the amazon videos stay tuned well folks we're going to start off with the old lipless crank something we throw back at home a lot but we're going to do some trolling so we're just going to toss them out and uh, Alberto's gonna drive the boat. We're just gonna, the reason why we're trolling is to cover water to find where the piranhas are. No idea where the piranhas are, but we're gonna try to find them. Once we start catching them, might do some casting. And uh, like I said, there's some wolf fish in here, which are just absolutely ferocious looking beasts. So we might, might attempt for those as well, but the, the goal here is piranhas, and then there's no beach. Alberto, no beach? No beach. No beach. No so uh, cooking them's gonna be a little bit interesting. Got one, got one, got one, got one. Yep, we're hooked up. I got something, I got a fish of some sort. He's taking me in the brush, taking me in the brush. Oh gosh, we're hooked up. Dude, what is this thing? Piranha? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a nice piranha. Is that big? That seems pretty big. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Alberto. You are dialed, my friend. That was two minutes. Big black piranha. Look at those teeth, dude. Look at those teeth. Vicious black piranha. That's food. See you in a bit, boy. Yeah. Get a We're good. We're good. Thank you. Got one. Oh, oh, came up. Got him. Got him. He's on. He's on. He's on. We're hooked up. We are hooked up, folks. Here we go. Came back, he, he smoked it once and came back. Oh, we are hooked up again. Dude, these things fight incredibly hard for their size. This is just unreal. Look at him, look at it, dude. Oh my God, he's saying, oh, he came off. That was a freaking beast. Oh man. Oh, that was a good one, dang it. All right, folks, just lost that second one. And I've decided no more trolling. Caught one fish. We got, I mean, we got food. We got food to eat, but I want to catch them like, you know, largemouth. We're throwing it out there and you're just ripping the sucker. And I want to feel these things hit because they hit hard, real hard. So I want to feel what they feel like when they do actually hit. So we're going to do some casting now, not just trolling. See if we can catch some more fish. <laughs> got one, got one, got one. Yep, got him. Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Oh, it looks like a piranha. Yep, that's a piranha. We're hooked up, boys. Oh, no! Ah! I, I, <laughs> two, what the hell? Alberto, I saw. God, these things are absolutely ferocious, dude. Oh my goodness. We're gonna get them. I, I, I am so determined to land one of these suckers doing this traditional bass fishing. Yeah, I was sick. Absolutely sick, just knocks slack in my line. The issue is these fish, their mouths are so hard and so full of teeth, it's really hard to kind of get into the good good spot. On that last fish, the first fish I caught, barely, barely skin hooked in the lip. So it's a little bit tricky, but it's gonna happen. Oh, golly. There's one. Oh, he's hooked up. Here we go. All right, take it easy, take it easy. Oh, Oh golly, I'm boat flipping them. Flipper. Oh, yeah. oh 
goodness. Dude, do it. Oh, okay. Hole. Should I get plywood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 this guy is going to be added to our dinner tonight or lunch, you could say. So let's get him in the live ball. Yep. All right. There you go. Join your buddy. <laughs> Boop. Comes the boat. There's one. Oh, God. Dude. Is it a giant? Dude, that thing, about, that thing about ripped the rod out of my hand. Oh, my God. I just feared for my life. That was the first time any fish has like really ran and stripped drag on me. Ho 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 ho. Fishing for freaking river monsters now, boys. Come on, Brian. There he is, there he is. Good God. Good God, dude. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Dear God, that's a nice fish. Oh my God! <laughs> How does this keep happening? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just throw back in there, do it again. Oh, I can't even describe this to you guys. Like, they look small and they look like, you know, big crappie. And, dude, they fight harder than any large mouth I've ever had in my life. These things are insane. Got him, got him. It came off. All right, come on, hit it again. Hit it again. All right, <laughs> one for five. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a bigger one. This is a bigger one. <sighs> this is big fish, big fish, big fish. Bigger piranha. Oh, come on, stay. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. Dude, this is much bigger. Oh my gosh, please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. What is this? It's huge. Oh my gosh, it's a giant piranha. Giant piranha. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Okay, oh he's barely hooked. Get him, oh my god. <laughs> Look how big that thing is, dude. Oh my god. That's a giant piranha. Look at those teeth. <laughs> Oh, that thing is huge. oh my god! Look how big this thing is, dude. I had no idea piranhas even got that big. Like this dude could actually do some serious damage to you. Look at those teeth. Look at those freaking teeth, dude. Oh my goodness. What do you think? I ain't swimming in here. I had no idea there. I mean, when I was thinking about piranhas, I'm thinking maybe the size of my hand, maybe. We're talking like bluegill crappie. Everyone's like, oh yeah, like bluegill and crappie. That suck. How much did you think that weighed? Uh, three, four pounds. Three, four pounds. Yeah, and they get eight to twelve. Yeah. No, man, three. Is it? No, no. Ain't not. These wa the water dragon boys that are out here. No, we ain't. If they're swimming, they're nuts. That thing was half, actually, potentially a third of the size of the biggest one that he has seen. No, no way. You couldn't pay me to swim in this freaking river. We are in the middle of nowhere right now. We just beached the boat. Time to time to fly up these piranhas, cook them up. We have a lighter, and that's all we've got. Everything else has to be found in this jungle. It is so eerie out here, though, because it's dead quiet. And all you do, all you hear, is just nature. Are you ready? Are you excited? Right here. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah.
Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Absolutely incredible, honestly. Like we, I don't know, John and I were like this, we had this idea in our head, but I had no idea how we were gonna go about it. And uh, I was kind of under the assumption I was just gonna try to build a fire and hope for the best. But uh, this man right here, very good job. Okay, you, you killed it. Bad. It's just, I mean, look at that. It's like, it's like a full on structure. So for those of you guys that didn't quite pick up on what, what happened was obviously we built the fire on the bottom and then we got four Y shaped sticks and then we put two crossbars and then you like basically fill it all in like almost like a grill grater is pretty much all it is just a grate like on a grill and uh, just throw the fish on there throw some salt on it and there you go you got yourself an Amazon piranha feast we're only cooking the one right now the two smaller ones we're taking back to the houseboat and they're gonna turn it into soup that's a monkey okay as I was saying we're taking the other two back and uh, actually his wife is the cook and she's gonna make soup for us um, so we're gonna try it in two different ways basically just kind of like a you know more of a primitive way of cooking it and then uh, and then like the soup which I guess the soup is really good so we're gonna, I'm curious to see what it's gonna taste like a lot of people said it's kind of like crappie well they said it's like catching crappie and it looks like crappie I don't know if it tastes like crappie but we're gonna find out here soon this is just Absolutely mind-blowing, folks. Never in my wildest dreams I think I'd be doing this. Growing up a giant piranha in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. Unreal. Yes! Mm. Well, folks, got the fish done. done. Look at this sucker. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Got a little couple packets of salt and pepper. Stole from the 7-Eleven in Miami, Florida. No, Di Dallas? We stole them in Dallas. Yeah, we stole these in Dallas. Not stole, you know, we took, but you know, whatever. You guys get the point. Sprinkle a little salt on here. Not much. So these padded D leaves are the plates for the day. That's what we're going to be using. Oh, yeah. There's the, I see the bones there. This is going to be very interesting. Whoa. Wow, that's really good. It literally tastes almost like chicken. It's got a very chickeny taste. Very, very, very little fishy taste. Oh yeah, cut yourself off a nice little chunk. You didn't get any bone in yours, did I you? I didn't get any bones. You look, it looks like you might have pulled a little bit off. Yep, but it's fine. There we go. Here we go. That is some good meat. It's not very fishy. I, I can't, I'm, no, it's not fishy at all. It's like... Trying to compare it to something. It does, it tastes more like chicken, I would say. It's like grilled chicken. It's really good. And you can taste the grill, right? Like it tastes like it's off the grill. Can you do you Yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's like, like charred, charred, charred. Yeah. It's charred. It's really good, guys. You need to come out here and try this. It's, it's phenomenal. Look at this. Made us a spoon, he made us a spoon. Look at these. We literally, he literally just made spoons out of, out of wood, I mean. Wood. We were talking about how we don't have utensils yeah. to receive other figures. So he ran in the back. I had no idea what he was doing. Heard him start hacking trees down and made us a little spoon. What a nice guy. Mmm. I'm telling you, it's so freaking good. Well, we're going to chow down on this food right here. We're actually going to take the other two back to the houseboat. His wife is the cook, and she's going to cook us up some some soup with the other two and then she's gonna boil the head of my big one and uh, and just you'll have a big old skull it's gonna be pretty sweet so we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna head back to the houseboat and see how everybody else did I don't know what else everybody everybody else did I think they all just went uh, peacock bass fishing but who knows so I'll catch you guys at the houseboat <laughs> oh, freaking, uh, chopper. Wait, you caught it on the chopper? He just threw up on it on the bank and then ate it. Pow! This dude is beautiful though. Look at those eyes. Jesus, dude. What? Look at his eyes, Jake. Alright, so what object did you catch fish on today? Nothing. Really? Pretty tough. Oh, what really, it really, is, really I tough. spilled but the pepper I will once. Soon. Yeah, I'm actually going to tell my guy to take me to an anaconda to see if I can catch it, uh, catch it with the iPhone. Big anaconda on the iPhone. That'd be cool, right? We'll bring it home, put it in the shower. Scare, it's gonna take you home and put it in its shower. <laughs> yeah, probably will. How about you, Ricky? Nothing? No dice day or what? You filmed. Yep. Winston's just tried, making I you work, huh? No, I tried to get the top water shot all day. Yeah, nothing. Sorry about that. Well, you wanna hear the report? They caught a barracuda, but it just looks like a gar or something. Caught no peacocks and a few piranhas. That's it. Yeah, that's rough.
pretty rough. It's, it's, not, it's not, it was not a great day out there. Kind of, kind of glad that we we decided to lay off the peacocks today because uh, sounds like it was pretty tough out there. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're planning on hopefully doing some more. We don't know what else we're gonna find to catch to cook or whatever. But we wanted to do it like you know traditional Amazon forest style, more of like a primitive ta tactic on everything, and actually learn a new way to cook fish, how to build a grill out of sticks. Did you know how to do that? Nope. Me neither. Learn something new every day. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.